Good evening. Thanks for joining us for our Fox 32 special coverage of the primary elections. I'm Corey McFerrin. And I'm Don Hasbrook. We have live team coverage of all the big races impacting our state. But first, breaking news, we have a winner in the Republican primary race for governor. Darren Bailey, the state senator from Louisville, Illinois, takes the nomination. Here's a look at the numbers in that race. As you can see, it's not close at all. What may be slightly surprising is Jesse Sullivan right now is tied for second with Richard Irvin, both with 16 percent. Darren Bailey was speaking moments ago. Dane Placco is live tonight in downstate Effingham, Illinois, with the Bailey campaign. Dane. Yeah, and as you can possibly uh, see and hear behind me, Darren Bailey has been speaking. He declared victory uh, about 10 minutes ago and is speaking since then. The crowd chanting, Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. About 300 people packing this uh, Holiday Inn convention room. All very happy right now as the... Uh, uh, the Republican gubernatorial candidate said he is going to uh, send a tip to the governor, advice for Governor Pritzker. He says, start packing your bags, my friend. Uh, he did surprisingly well in the Chicago suburbs, which he acknowledged and even did fairly well in Chicago. We'll talk a little bit about that later. But let's show you some of what he had to say here at the beginning of his speech. Friends, tonight, your voices were finally heard. The voices of working families, parents, taxpayers, law enforcement, and everyday citizens. Voices from the farms, the suburbs, the city of Chicago, <laughs> and every place in between. Let's hear it up for Chicago tonight. We got anybody here? Uh huh. Right there's how it's going in Chicago. God bless you. Wow. Thank you. This is awesome. Oh, tonight our movement sent a clear message to the establishment and the political elites. We will not be ignored. This primary has been a long journey, but one that we believe is worth every second, every mile, every moment. It's been an amazing journey on this campaign trail. And what's uh, remarkable in that speech you just heard was his call out to Chicago, as you may remember. Uh, he is a lawmaker, uh, introduced some legislation that would separate Chicago from the rest of the state. And more recently on the camp campaign trail, has been very critical of Chicago, calling it, quote, a hellhole. But you can see tonight he was happy with some of the uh, uh, voting results he got out of Chicago and uh, threw a, a little bit of love our way, I guess you might say. Uh, he's still speaking right now. After he's done speaking, he's going to be working the rope line at the front of the stage, uh, to getting congratulations from his supporters, and then we expect him to come over here by the press area at the back of the ballroom, and uh, we can ask him some one-on-one -on -one questions. So that's the situation here in Effingham. Throw it back to you for now. Dane Placco on the scene, and as we know, one of the main storylines this primary, the money that went into the campaign for Richard Irvin. The Aurora mayor getting support by some political heavyweights in his run for Republican candidate for governor. He was second, but now has dropped to third. Both both of them was 16 percent, Jesse Sullivan and Richard Irvin, but Jesse with about 2,000 more votes. All right, it wasn't enough, was it? Perhaps. Let's check in with Elizabeth Matthews. Elizabeth. About a half an hour ago, we heard from Aurora Mayor Richard Irvin conceding to Darren Bailey, and after a great loss, a great defeat, he still had these inspiring words to share. Tragedy in life is not failing to meet your goals. It's having no goals to reach in the first place. <laughs> in this race for governor, we may not have reached our goals tonight, but we are victorious for daring to step into the arena. When Irvin came to the headquarters tonight, he came after presiding over a city council meeting just down the street as polls closed. He got off the podium and avoided our cameras for a follow-up interview. Now, Irvin was formerly the front runner, boosted by $50 million from billionaire Ken Griffin. He lost momentum just a few weeks ago when cash flowed in from the Democratic Governors Association for anti-Irvin television ads. Irvin pointing the finger at all that money funneled into TV ads by Pritzker, who seems to be pushing for a Trump-backed opponent in Darren Bailey. 
Pritzker stopped us from winning tonight, but he couldn't stop us from changing so many hearts and minds around the state. People are fed up with the crime and the taxes and the corruption. And I believe, I believe that they are ready to rise up and take back Illinois. That really was the message tonight from the Aurora mayor that if and when Illinoisans are ready, when they are fed up to rise up and take back. Now, of course, he's still the mayor. Like I said earlier tonight, as the polls closed, he was presiding over that city council meeting just down the street here in downtown Aurora. He was just reelected last year, so he still has another three years on that term. In Aurora, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.